Okay, today on the bench for repair, we've got the battery operated high wheel robot, uh, Yoshia Japan, about 1965 thereabouts. This is the six gear version. Uh, this high wheel robot was sold in wind up versions uh, where the key would be on this side with both uh, six gear and four gear variations. So, in any case, this is the battery operated version with the six gears. And it was sent to me because it wasn't working. And I found um, two main problems. The first problem, by troubleshooting the inside of the battery box, you've got a single button, turn it on. Getting my voltmeter across the wires that were going to the motor with the batteries in there and pushing the button and I wasn't getting any voltage. So I had to disassemble the uh, push button assembly. And what I found was that the negative side, I don't want to flex this too much. It's one of those living hinges, you know, where it's just molded plastic. You can only open them and close them so many times before the part drops off. Anyway, the negative contact piece of metal is down here and it runs all the way up and just stops up here. And the positive one is right here and it simply connects right onto this red piece of fiberboard that's probably showing up in the video there a little bit. And the way they were getting the negative connection out to the robot is where it solders on over here. They had a bent piece of metal that would come down and was supposed to rub and then touch this piece. And the one over on this side would only touch this positive part where it's riveted when you would push the button in all the way and complete the circuit. Well, the negative one wasn't completing the circuit. So I went ahead and then soldered in a wire from the negative post is coming all the way up to the negative wire and that gave me the voltage there. Then once I had the voltage there the robot still wasn't running so that pretty much meant um, that the motor just hadn't run in so many years it was gunked up. But not wanting to uh, split the halves on the robot unless it became absolutely necessary I took to I guess I can move this closer Let's see if the light will turn on on this thing. There we go. I went to these holes in the side and I was hoping that light would shine in there enough to where you could see what I could see. But anyway, I have small lights, green and wheat lights, connected into batteries and I can shove them in holes and things like that to light up the inside of a toy. So I could get in there, plus you can see through this window in the front so I know the motor is mounted vertically and I and just from past experience I knew that that hole you see way back in there that actually goes into the end of the motor where the brushes are so I shot some contact cleaner in through the hole in there the motor is aiming down this way and it has a worm gear on the end of it so I can't back turn any of the gears inside here to rotate the motor because you can't back turn a worm gear but uh, you can reach in through the hole and get to the worm gear and spin it. So with one hand uh, having already put some contact clean in there and the other hand pushing the red button on the remote and working the screwdriver to spin that worm gear got it got it going and got the sprayed some more contact cleaner in there and and that's how it goes. You've got your two D cells, you've got a light in the head and you've got an actual light behind the uh, the two switches as well. I'm going to turn off the light on the camera. And it's a good walker. As you can see. So you get the little red light back in there. You get the light in the head. And being as old as it is, these wires are very, uh, very stiff. So I'm not flexing them. And someone had wrapped them up with a little red rubber band or something years and years ago. And I'm leaving all of that as is. Because I don't want to be the one to uh, crack and break the wire. Because then you might have to open the robot up. I don't particularly want to uh, have to bend these metal tabs until it becomes absolutely necessary. Because you never know when a metal tab is going to break off, right? But there you have it. That's your... We called it a gear robot, but its actual name was Battery Operated High Wheel Robot. Uh, Yoshia, Japan, around 1965.